Luzon is the biggest of three main islands in the Philippines, and the 17th largest island in the world is spanning over 104,688 square kilometers. Luzon Island has some of the most spectacular tourist attractions in the archipelago. It is also where Manila can be found, the capital city of the Philippines. Here are the best tourist spots in Luzon. 12. Sagada The Philippines is known for its picturesque highland filled with white sand beaches and clear waters under the turquoise blue and emerald green. But Sagada doesn't have any of the. What it has are less green mountains, cool fragrant breezes, first-class food, addictive local coffee, attractive rice terraces, refreshing waterfalls, and the peace-loving and friendly people. It's a peaceful village in the northern mountains, and it's also famous for the hanging coffins located near the town center. 11. Vegan City Vigan in Ilocosur is a small but amazing city. It is unique to Philippine cities that it's the only surviving historical city that began in the 16th century, a Spanish colonial period. It is known for the unique architectural brilliance in the buildings and the cobblestone streets, the empanada, bread with meat and longanisa fillings, and a long walk along the streets watching everything around are quite refreshing. Then, Hundred Islands. The most popular tourist spot in Pangasinan, just around 5 hours away from Manila, it is a group of approximately 123 islands and islets scattered over Lingayan Gulf, believed to be formed more than 2 million years ago. With more than 100 islands harboring white sand beaches, caves, limestone rocks, and cliff and rich marine life, Hundred Islands guarantee a well worth escape in this part of Pangasinan. This is the best spot for camping, picnics, and island explorations. 9. Banawi Rice Terraces Banawi Rice Terraces, system of irrigated rice terraces in the mountains of North Central Luzon, Philippines that were created more than 2,000 years ago by the Ifugao people. Although located in several villages, they are collectively known as the Panawe Rice Terraces. The rice terraces of Ifugao are marvel, probably God's masterpiece and is considered as the eighth wonder of the world. The people here are very friendly and the hospitality is admirable. The various hiking trails in the area is definitely one of the attractions for hikers. Eight, Luneta Park. Luneta Park is well known as Rizal Park, named after Dr. Jose Rizal. A national hero is a picturesque urban park with historical significance. It's an atmospheric spot to take a stroll, particularly late afternoon, early evening, and on weekends. As the place where Jose Rizal was executed by the Spanish colonial authorities, it's also of outstanding historical significance. The Orchidarium, the Glassy Lawns, Bronze Statues, the National Park, and the Chinese and Japanese Gardens are the principal attractions in Rizal Park. Seven, Pagsanhan Falls. Situated at the root of Mount Banahaw is the town of Cavinti in the province of Laguna, home to at least five waterfalls, including perhaps the most famous in the country, the Pagsanhan Falls. An amazing ride in canoes to the exotic Pagsanhan Falls is something no one will ever forget. 
the rocky cliff, the wild orchids, vines, and ferns are all but a little of what is there at Paksanhan Falls. There will be a few mini falls on the path, and the journey will be the most memorable for adventurers. 6. Taal Volcano Taal Volcano sits on an island with a lake within an island, adjacent to the holiday town of Tagaytay, a popular getaway for Manila residents. The smallest active volcano in the world and one of the most visited spots in the region, not to mention extremely beautiful, Taal Volcano with its scenic viewpoints would make your jaws drop. You can easily reach Tagaytay by bus in Baclaran, Pasay City. After arriving in Tagaytay, the first step is to take an outrigger boat across the deep blue waters of Tal Lake to Volcano Island. Five, Bangi Windmills. If there is one thing that is synonymous to Ilocos Norte, that is no other than their iconic windmills. Located at Bangi, Ilocos Norte, the Bangi Wind Farm uses 20 wind turbines, it's 70 meters high, and it's wonderful to watch. The view itself would blow your minds rather than the wind. It's provide 50% of 33 megawatts of Ilocos Norte's electricity. It was Southeast Asia's largest wind farm until surpassed by Burgos Wind Farm in 2014. Even with the title strip, it still draws more tourists than the Burgos Wind Farm because of its accessibility. 4. Baguio City Baguio is a university city that boasts one of the Philippines' largest student populations and is also a crossroad between hill tribe culture and lowland settlers. The less greenery, bright and clear skies, and the cool climate in Baguio City is a very good tourist spot if you need some peace and quiet from a hectic life. There are nice man-made tourist spots, good food, religious sites, and so many more in Baguio. For most travelers, Baguio serves as the primary gateway to backpacker bliss up north in Sigada, Banawe, and Kalinga. Three, Puerto Princesa. The spectacular landscape and the Puerto Princesa underground river are what make Puerto Princesa famous. Recently listed in the world's new seven wonders of the world, the boat ride into the underground river is totally rewarding experience. Palawan's bustling capital is also mainly gateway to El Nido and the beaches of the west coast. A decent food scene, some nightlife along main track Rizal Avenue, and a growing number of boutique hotels increase the appeal. Two, caramel wine. Caramel wine is a paradise in the farthest coast of Camarines Sur, hidden in underdeveloped and rural soil, while white sand beaches, limestone cliff, beautiful and islets are common scenery. The place is made famous by the hit global reality show franchise Survivor and became a favorite shooting location due to its numerous islands with fine white sand, lagoons, caves, limestone cliff and rocks, and rich marine life that give a new definition to an island experience. But even before the Survivor series, there was already Karamawan beautifully unspoiled and unexploited. One, Mount Mion. Mount Mion, a 20 million year old active volcano, also known as the world's most perfect cone, it is a spectacular sight to see. While you're here, you have the chance to explore around the base of the volcano with ATV tours, hiking, photography while capturing unbelievable views. Aside from hiking, you can go marvel at the many fantastic animals such as the parakeet, red jungle fall, 
and all fruit tough just to mention a few. You can also perform many activities such as camping, climbing, bird watching and more.